Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Timu haul. Now today's haul is going to be a little bit different. I did it as a theme. I was sitting back thinking what I can do with the channel so that I can interact with you guys a little bit more. And I thought what would be a better way or a more fun way to do hauls for you guys. And so now this isn't just specified towards Timu. I actually came up with the idea to do it as a Dollar Tree thing, but I can do it for both. So today's video and maybe the next video is going to be a themed haul. So today it is an 80s haul. So if you guys have been around my channel, you know that I am a baby of the 80s. And so, I really just love anything that has to do with the 80s. It just brings me back. I feel like it was a great time to grow up. I felt like being a kid was so much fun and you never had to worry. And there was just always something to do. And this is really before electronics. I mean, we had, you know, some electronic games, but nothing compared to today, you know, with our phones, social media, all different types of electronic games, you know, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switches, like literally everything is at anyone's fingertips these days. So I feel like we're kind of running out of that imagination. Let's come up with something when we're bored type it of like living. Things are just so different now. So it just brings me back. I love this stuff. I want to share it with my kids. I always talk to my daughter and my nieces about the 80s and like, you know, how things looked. And I, my niece is watching all kinds of 80s movies. And it's just my daughter, I'm starting to have her when, you know, I feel like it's appropriate for her to watch. Um, but yeah, so with all that being said, I thought it'd be really fun to purchase items from Timu that had to do with the 80s. Now, some of these items may have, you know, been out before the 80s or um, maybe in my childhood, I remember these items and you won't. Some of it has to do probably with just my upbringing and like what I was around and what I saw. Um, so whatever I'm showing today may not reflect the 80s to you, you know what I mean? So just kind of keep that in mind just in case you're like, what in the world that has nothing to do with the 80s? <laughs> That's still around today or that was around way before the 80s. Um, but these are just things that are nostalgic to me that bring my mind and me back to the 80s. I was searching for so many things on Timu. I couldn't find a lot of things. I could probably find it on eBay, but I did find a lot of things. So I hope that you guys enjoy today's video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what, you know, comes to mind when you think of the 80s. I know bicycles do and riding bikes all around the neighborhood. Now, I didn't buy a bike from Timu because they don't have one, but... <laughs> So what I really wanted to talk to you guys about with this is my idea is that instead of it just being me thinking of themes, if you guys can write the next theme that you wanna see down in the comment section below, that would be awesome. And I'll just kind of see what everybody's thinking and I'll tally up the most and that's what I'll try to haul. So everything specific to that, it could be colors, it could be you know different eras, it could be crafting, it could be kitchen, it could be floral, it could be anything like that, you guys. I don't know, so just be creative. If you guys wanna do this, I thought it'd be really fun. Um, so it would be things having to do with Timu and Dollar Tree. So the next video I put up will also be an 80s haul, but it will be from the Dollar Tree. And I wanna know what you guys think, who won, or who, you know, where I found better things from, Timu, or the Dollar Tree. So also put that down below because once you see the Dollar Tree and you've seen the Timu, let me know which one you guys think did better at having more of the 80s themed stuff. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Again, remember these are things that take me back to the 80s so they may not completely align with what you guys have in mind. Now, the first item I'm going to share with you are leg warmers. They had all different bright colors. They had like hot pink. They had this blue. I want to say they had like a lime green, but how cool are these? I will say I will be wearing these this winter. 
coming up. I mean, I have months because it's just now about to be summertime, but I will wear these. I am forever cold, but who remembers these with like the, the not leggings, they were called stretchies back then, but they're leggings. You guys remember calling your leggies stre leggings stretchies? <laughs> I think that's so funny. Like we come out with the same thing years later, but it's named something else. Just like, um, what were they called? Bell bottoms came out and they were called boot flares. So it's just kind of funny how fashion does that and times do that. But anyway, so I picked up these leg warmers. I thought that they were really, really cool. So they were $2.19. Let me know which one of you guys wore leg warmers. I know I wore leg warmers and my sister was big time into like dressing up like that. I think cause she was a little bit older than I was, um, but yeah, so leg warmers is the first thing. Next thing I'm gonna share with you guys, um, back in the 80s, if you remember, especially like the break dancers and things like that, um, they used to walk around with something on their shoulder and they would be listening to it. So the next thing I picked up was this boom box. Now, this is a miniature size boom box because they didn't sell a big one. I would love to have a big boom box again, but this is the one that I found on Timu. What's really cool is the cassette tape actually where your cassette tape goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well it opens and apparently it's easy because I just made it fling out. <laughs> but it has a miniature little cassette and then you have your little cassette um, door. Let's see if I could get it back in. Oh my gosh, I pulled on it a little too much. I didn't know that it opened like that. And I actually thought that the cassette tape was stuck in there. I thought that it didn't come out, but it does. So if you guys get this, just be careful. Um, okay, there. So, so that's really cute. So it actually opens, the handle moves around and a couple of these buttons move. But who remembers these, you guys? Who remembers back in the day that you would either have to listen to something on a cassette tape or on the radio and you had to use your antennas and if the antenna broke, you would use a wire hanger. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just love it. I love all of the things about the 80s, you guys. Now on Timu, they had blue and they were had red from the seller that I bought this from. Now ours growing up, I wanna say it was black and it may have been red, I can't remember. But let me know if you guys had a boom box in your room. Um, I know that we did, we used to record music and then we'd write down the lyrics and rewind the, the, the cassette tape and then write down the lyrics and that's how we learned our songs. So this boom box cost $2.98. And let me tell you, I am going to hold on to all of these because I just think it's too cool to get rid of. All right, the next thing I picked up, I picked it up for $3.38. And these are actually back in style. I want to say a lot of these things you can actually use today. Um, and even like if you had a boom box or something like that, it would be in style because I feel like the 80s are coming back. Please don't mind the puppy, he's walking around so you will hear him. Um, but I went ahead and I picked up this eyeshadow, you guys. Look at the colors in there. Who remembers using blue and pink and, do we use purple? I wanna say blue and pink is definitely coming to mind. Um, but they have yellow in here. Let me pull it out and share it with you guys. Hi Salem, you wanna smell it? Be like, what is that? That's makeup, no you can't have that, don't boop, don't boop it. So these are the colors in this palette. It's actually a really nice palette. I think that it's super cute, but I think these colors are actually coming back. So I'm gonna see if my daughter wants to use these. Oh my gosh, what a trip. So it has like a powdery floral smell to it. So this, it does have a scent and it literally brought me back to my great grandma, she used to have a lipstick. That's weird that I remember that because I don't remember very much about her, but she used to have a lipstick and it smells just like that. That's trippy, isn't that trippy that certain songs or smells, things like that will like trigger something in your mind to take you back to a person or a place. I love that, I love that. But this totally smells like her, trippy. 
Okay, so I picked that up. I thought that that was kind of fun. Something else, okay, so I had really been looking for um, movies, things that we used to like play with, activity type stuff, stuff like that. Just anything that I was looking at that would like trigger childhood, right? So one thing I found, it was $11.98, and it's like a Game Boy, you guys. It's called a Game Box Plus. Support external game pad, double against. What? I don't know what that means. I don't know. Um, but it comes with, it reminded me of a Game Boy. It does come with a remote, which the Game Boy doesn't. But you could use it with a remote, but it has... It comes with a battery and it comes with these different cords to charge it and to hook up stuff, I guess. They didn't have a gray because you guys, I would have gotten the gray one because that just is Game Boy all the way, but they did have this black one. So I went ahead and picked up this black one, but isn't that really cool? So the back just opens up and that's where you put the charger there. And then at the top, it has the, the spaces to plug in these different cords to work it. Now this does have real games on it. I'm not quite sure which games are on it. So I'll have to let you guys know. Um, so I will have this in a review video just to, you know, let you guys know if it's worth getting, if it has like old school games that maybe we all played, um, when we were younger, but I don't know, I thought that that would be really fun to haul and share with you guys. It's just, you know, something else to bring us back. So I picked up that. It does come with like a little thing of directions and their uh, user's manual. So yeah, so I picked that up. Along those same lines, I found these stickers. You guys know how I am about my stickers and Timu. These were $1.48 and it came with 50. But they have the Game Boy, they have an IBM computer, they have old school photos, um, cassette tapes, all oh, the good old cassette tapes. They even have a cassette tape, you guys, where the, um, oh my gosh, the film? What is it called? So the, it's not called film. I'm gonna go crazy. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like literally pulled out of it. Do you remember when that would happen? Like when your radio or boom box would eat the cassette and you'd have to take it out and then you'd use like a pin to, <laughs> to make it all go back. And it's kind of like correction tape. That's what correction tape does. Anyways, so they have one of those. They have just all different types of computers, old school cameras, old school TVs, rolls of film, different icons on a TV. They have CDs. Now some of these mixed in, these are 80s and 90s stickers. So some of them you will see are more 80s, 90s themed. Um, let me see. I thought they had a Walkman in here. Maybe it's not. I thought they had a Walkman. They do. They have a Walkman in here. Wait, that's not a Walkman. What in the world is that? I don't know what that is. They have a record player, um, a Polaroid camera. Yes, a Polaroid, you guys. I love Polaroid cameras. Um, yeah, so those stickers are super cute, so you guys can see them here on the screen. Along those same lines, I did pick up more stickers, and these were $1.98. Oh, you know what? Those might have been $1.98 as well, and not $48. One or the other, I can't read my own handwriting. Um, but when I was little, I absolutely loved the Care Bears. The Care Bear stare where they're all in a line and all their little bellies like reflected all of their good character qualities. <laughs> I love it. I still teach my kids when they were little. Well, my youngest son, my son, he's six and I've been teaching him like sharing is caring forever. So like if one of us don't want to share who would like sharing is caring so yeah so i love care bears so i went ahead and i picked up the whole pack of care bears uh -oh, care bear stickers but again there's about 50 of them i will have them here for you guys and they do look like the original care bears super cute oh my gosh i love them can't get enough of them super excited about that i also will say these things like that i can scrapbook with not scrapbook i always say that journal with 
I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna do an 80s journal, I think. Wouldn't that be so much fun? And maybe if I have like old like memorabilia things, I can add to it. I don't know, I have to go through my stash, but that would be so much fun. Um, I'm finding that junk journaling for me is all about like memories and things that mean something to me. So that's what I'm going to try to establish my books with is just different things that like mean something to me. It's easier for me to be creative in that way. Um, so that's kind of how I'm basing my junk journaling. And I find myself wanting to do more like page decorating and stuff like that more than having spaces for actual writing. I feel like when I write in it, I'm going to ruin it. I don't know. Um, okay, so moving away from that, that topic, something I picked up that was big back when I was in the 80s is jewelry. When you were little, it was all about the big, chunky, plastic jewelry. I mean, at least for me. I was really little. I mean, I was born in 81, so I was really little through the 80s, but I still remember it, you guys. So I went ahead for 89 cents. I went ahead and picked up this really cute butterfly plastic bracelet super cute let me tell you i love it i would still probably wear this you guys even though i look crazy i think it is super cute so i went ahead and picked this up before i go any further i do want to mention that this is from timu as well i hauled it i don't know a few hauls ago i think but i love it it's a large it washed really well it's pretty light um, yeah, it, it's really nice. It's comfortable. It's not itchy. It's pretty thin. I got it in a large, so it is like oversized on me, but I love it. But now it's about to get hot, so it's going to be hard to wear it. My husband always freezes me out in the house, so I still wear sweaters. You'll probably catch me wearing some of these sometime this summer. <laughs> I feel really sidetracked today. Um, let me think here. So, all right, so what do I wanna grab? I don't even know. So when I was a kid, my mom worked, both my parents worked, and my mom would always write us notes and leave them on the kitchen counter. And so when I saw this, I don't know why this reminds me of the 80s, but it totally does. Maybe it's because it reminds me of like a computer screen, like the old school computer screen, I don't know. Tell me, tell me why I'm thinking this is the eighties, you guys, but look how cute this is. My mom literally would leave us notes like, have a good day. Don't forget to do this or put the dishes away or I'll see you at this time. Or, you know, just a reminder just to have a good day. She always woke up really early. And so, cause she went to work really early in the morning. So she always left us notes. So this really brought me back a lot. Oh, this was three fifty nine. It's a decent size. Um, notepad. I love it. I think it's super cute. This will look so cute in a junk journal. Um, and that was $3.59. Another little notepad that reminded me, I don't know why this reminds me of the 80s. Let me know if it reminds you guys of the 80s and maybe why it could remind me of that. But it was $1.29 and it just says checklist. But doesn't that look like something that was back then? I don't know where I've seen it, but it just reminds me of that time. I have no idea why, you guys. So I went ahead and picked that up. Another thing when you're a kid, you love kaleidoscopes, right? So I saw these really nice wooden kaleidoscopes. And let me tell you, this thing works so good. I love that the eyepiece is really large, so it's easy to see through. It shines a lot of light in there. It's just really a good, good quality kaleidoscope. So if you have a kid, I think any kid would love looking at this, especially outside. Um, but this was $2.24. They did have all different colors and I think, I don't think you're allowed to choose the color you want. I think it was like just a random pick. So whatever you get, you get. And I got yellow. So, um, something else that really brings me back. These were $2.98 and they are roller skates. Oh, I should have laced them up for you guys. I literally just pulled them out of the bag. Now they are like doll size skates. They are white. I think they had different colors, but you guys, I mean, who remembers going to the roller rink, listening to the music, having their little, um, what are those lights called? Strobe lights on with the old school music. And then when you get to the 90s, you had roller, bro, bro, 
rollerblades. Who remembers rollerblades? Oh my gosh, the first time I wore rollerblades, they were my cousins. I almost broke my neck. Like trying to balance yourselves on those. Those are probably around nowadays. Do you guys have rollerblades now? Do your kids? I have no idea. That's something to look into. That'd be really fun. Well, not for me because I'd probably fall and break my neck. But I went ahead and tied these all up. I laced them. Look how cute these little roller skates are. All right, so the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, I think everybody had one of these. They were cameras. We still have them today. A lot of us use phones for cameras. But this really reminded me of like family trips when we used to go to Disneyland all the time. Just really brought me back to my childhood. Now I don't know if ours looked exactly like this, um, but I just, there's something about it, right? It has the cool little um, neck strap and I think it works. It has like a little pull thing. So I'm going to pull it. I didn't really read it. Oh, it flashes. Look, <laughs> you see that? Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. I may have to put this in, um, in my, one of my junk journals, like as a charm or on the back or something. Isn't that super cute? So I picked this one up. This was a dollar 98. I also saw this camera and this kind of brings me more back to like if when I had my camera other than okay <laughs> hold on my mind you guys you know how I am I'm everywhere but do you guys remember the long cameras I think the film was like 110 something is that it do you guys remember the long cameras and they had the film that like went like this like they had like two round things and then it went across do you guys remember those? Was the film called 110? Am I going crazy? I don't know, let me know down in the comments. So this camera does remind me more of something that I had more than my parents, but look at this cute little pin. I'm gonna do a picture. You guys are gonna see pictures throughout this video just cause it's easier with these little items, but it's a really cute camera. It has a, it's a pin and it has a backing to it. So you can use this to put on different things if you like to decorate your bags or your purses or your kids like to do that, or maybe straps on backpacks or something like that. So you can use it like that, but I was thinking of using it in my junk journal somehow. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to like pin it. This will go in my 80s journal, by the way, if I ever get to that. I don't know, I have like 20 ideas of journals and I'm still working through my first two. <laughs> so I don't know, okay, but that is my idea to do an 80s journal. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna like clip the pokey part or if I'm going to like, and then glue it on. I don't know how I would do it, but I think that this is super cute and for 98 cents, I love that. Okay, going back to the stickers, I found a movie that reminded me of the 80s. It's $1.98 for the pack of 50 and it is Back to the Future. Who remembers the Back to the Future movies? I absolutely loved all of them when I was younger. Um, so here are all of the pictures. I can't remember all of their names, but look how cute all of these stickers are. Again, I mean, if you have somebody that loves the 80s or loves movies or, you know, stuff like that, even if they just love Back to the Future, get them this. Put it in a little gift basket. Bring it to them, I mean, for no reason at all, just to give it to them because it reminded you of them. You know what I mean? I think that doing stuff like that is kind of cool. These were $1.98. The stickers usually run around $1.98. So something else that I grabbed is another piece of jewelry. This was 49 cents. Oh, I didn't know that these were clip-ons. But I went ahead and picked up these earrings here. They're super cute. The little flower with the heart little drop. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I don't know the terminology. They are clip-ons. I wish that these were studs because I would totally wear these. But my youngest niece doesn't have her ears pierced. So maybe I will give these to her. Um, and she'll be able to play with them. And then along the same lines with jewelry, I picked up one more piece of jewelry. They are hoop earrings with 
stars. Look how cute those are. And here they are, closer view of them so that you guys can see them. Aren't they super cute? I love how they have like the gold stud at the bottom or at the end, I would say, of the hoop so that the stars won't fall off, but I think that gives it a really cute touch. So I went ahead and picked those up, and let me tell you, I will wear those. Those, again, were 89 cents. The next item I'm going to share with you, this may remind you guys of like the 70s and even earlier on. They were around for quite a while, but I remember growing up to it because we had a record player in our home. And we used to play music on our record player. It was a large cabinet that had like sliding um, drawers on the top. And then in the center, I can't remember if it slid open or if it lifted open, but the record player was in there. And it was wooden. Oh, who remembers the wood back in the 80s and 70s? And well, I wasn't here in the 70s, but they were in the 70s. The heavier duty wood, like the good wood. Um, but I went ahead and I picked up this pack of vinyl record coasters. How cute. I won't use these as coasters. Again, I will probably use them in my junk journal. But this is set, it has a set of six of them. They were $4.18. It says that they're also available in bookends and a bowl. So you could literally buy a vinyl bowl. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, so these are the little records. They literally look and feel just like records. I mean, you can even hear it when you put your nails against it. I just love that probably killed half of you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't think about it. Um, but they just have different names on it. So it says, what the heck? Too hot to handle. One of them says Apollo. One of them says tea time um what does this say cover and protect so they all have like little individual names on them i just think that these are so cute i'm going to tell you guys a funny story because that's just what i've been doing lately right when i was younger we used to always go to disneyland and we went one year and i think it was was it the 55th anniversary or something like that 50th anniversary somewhere around there and when you walked in they'd, with your admission ticket, they would give you like, um, I can't remember if it was actually on the admission ticket or if it was a separate ticket, but you could win or you didn't win. Well, I won something and I was so excited because I had won something. And when I found out what I won, I wasn't very excited about it because when I was little, I used to go on the Pirates of the Caribbean and I was so scared of it. My mom would, I would lay down in the boat cause it's like a boat and it has like rows. And so there's no like seat belts or anything like that. So I'd sit next to my mom, probably my dad too. I don't remember, but I do remember laying down on them because I was so scared of that ride. It, Gosh, I sound like I'm tortured as a child. I told you the psycho story. I'm telling you the Pirates of the Caribbean story. That's so funny. I wasn't, I had a wonderful childhood. Um, so don't let these stories like make you think I didn't. But I remember being so scared. So I would lay down and you guys, that is what I won. I won a record of the, Carib the Pirates of the Caribbean music. <laughs> let me tell you though, I did get it. We did go and I did get that record for free. I wonder if my dad still has that record. I'm gonna find out. Hmm, that would be pretty funny. But anyways, that's a story, childhood story, bringing it really way back, right? So that goes along with this video. So hope you guys are enjoying my torture, my torture stories. Um, okay, so those are the records. Another thing that I picked up, now this is totally random and some of you may um, relate to it and some of you may not, but back in the day when I was a kid, my mom would take me to McDonald's. Well, not just me, you know, my brother and sister too. I guess they were there. <laughs> not all the time, I think they were still in school because I was the youngest. Because I remember going there and my mom would get me an ice cream cone. Oh my gosh, another story time, you guys. This one will be fast. So my mom would get me an ice cream cone and I really didn't like the ice cream. I just liked the cone that had the ice cream in it. 
So she would get me one and then she would eat most of the actual ice cream and then she would give me the cone back and have me eat the part that I liked. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks like McDonald's now. It is not McDonald's because of copyright reasons. So they did have to change it up. I wish they had an ice cream because that, that would have been my childhood because I didn't really like hamburgers when I was little. Um, but this is the little box. It opens really cute. It's, it's like flaps. I don't know why I like that, but I do. I think it's cool. Um, this was $2.98 by the way, but it came with this little tray because you know when you used to go to McDonald's, I don't know if they still do it now, but you get a little tray with your food on it and it comes with all these little fake um, foods. So the cheeseburger, it comes with fries. It, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. That's a sandwich, I think. They don't sell sandwiches. But the little soda with the straw is super cute. I had to get the McDonald's because my childhood, I remember McDonald's and those ice cream cones. I do the same thing for my kids and even my nieces. I'll, my sister does it too. We'll go to McDonald's and just get ice cream cones. Now my kids, my son loves the ice cream and then he gives me his ice cream cone with the ice cream in it. Tell me that's not perfect, you guys. He gets half and I get half. I love it. Okay, so the next thing, I have two more things to share with you guys. The next thing I got is a... It's a Lego set. Uh-oh, let me move this. So it's a Lego set, and this was $4.94. It's for eight plus. It's 118 pieces, but it is a scooter. That's what we used to call these, an electric scooter. Now, I honestly don't know when these came out, but I remember them as a kid. If it was the 80s or 90, like early 90s, I don't know. It's kind of sketchy for me. I don't really remember. But I got this because it just brought me back. It was so cool to have a scooter. Um, I did get mine in pink. So I'm going to let my kids put to put this together um, for something to, you know, something to do. Something to keep them busy. But I thought that it was pretty cute and I wanted to share it. Because when I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. That brings me back. So it comes with three different bags. We have this bag here, this bag here, and then this bag here. It also comes with the instructions, which are here. They're just picture instructions, which is cool. Kids can follow along. And then I actually do better with pictures. And then um, these little, what are these? Little stickers that go on it. Also, this reminds me of Luca because Luca, the Vespa, Vespa, what was it called? I don't know, something like that. So the last thing I got was a pack of stickers, you guys. You know me, it was $2.48. This one I got because I figured my nieces would really like using this in their junk journal and I would use it in my 80s junk journal as well. So I went ahead and got this. It came with this Walkman and headphones, the old school computer, a Rubik's Cube. Who remembers the Rubik's Cubes? Those are still around. My kids still like playing with those. Really cute watch. Look at the colors. Tell me those are not 80 colors. The old school TV with the rabbit. What are they called? Rabbit? What? Rabbit ears. <laughs> the little Nintendo remote. We have this super cute backpack. Uh-oh, you guys. Hold on a second. Hold on. It's getting good. Look at this fanny pack. Who, I just, I just hauled a fanny pack. It's not a fanny pack. It's like an over the shoulder purse. I don't know. But this is the fanny packs I remember. These colors, my mom used to wear them to Disneyland. Yes, yes she did to Disneyland. Um, who remembers the windbreakers? I looked for a windbreaker instead of this shirt. I wanted to wear like an eight, like an actual 80s shirt. I couldn't find one. But I wanted to wear a windbreaker. Remember the windbreaker outfits that literally were these colors? Super funny. Okay, so I'm going to put a little um, picture here for you guys to see because they have a VCR. There's the roller skates, you guys. Oh my gosh, that radio. I actually had one of these radios in my room. So many stickers. Cannot even. Oh my gosh, I can't even with these. These are my favorite pack of stickers. Out of all of them, these are definitely my favorite. 
But that is it. Hope that you guys had fun. I had a lot of fun. This actually really made me sit and reminisce and that is awesome. I hope I did the same thing for you. I hope that you guys like had some old memories brewing um, while we went over these items. Let me know if you would like to share one of your guys' old school stories that bring you back to the 80s that you guys could relate with me or with each other down in the comments. I would love to hear your guys' comments on this or feedback. Again, I will be doing a Dollar Tree haul from the 80s as well. I'm not sure if it'll be like the next video or within the next couple weeks. Timing is kind of hard for me. Um, so I can't tell you exactly, but it will be coming out. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what theme you guys wanna see. That will be super fun. Um, so let me know what theme you guys wanna see. And then once I do the Dollar Tree haul, make sure you let me know which one won, right? Which one do you think like I did better at finding or the stores have better items? Maybe a little bit of both, okay? But let me know which one you think had the best 80s items. But with all that being said, you guys, I had so much fun again. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for always coming to my channel and spending time with me. I know how everybody's lives are really busy and that just means a lot to me. It's a blessing to me and I wanna thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to spend it with me. But with all that being said, be safe, be blessed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye you guys.